Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we will see how we can transfer the files between two PCs using Ethernet cable. So this method is very useful if we don't have any memory stick with us or the data files which we have to transfer are very large. So by using an Ethernet cable, we can connect these two laptops together to share the data between these two computers directly. In today's session, I will be sharing all the necessary steps which are required for the successful sharing of data. So let's start today's session. First of all, we have to connect these two laptops using standard Ethernet cable. So we will go towards our first PC and we can open its Ethernet settings and we will open its this option which is change adapter option and here we can see that there is an Ethernet connection here we can go open its properties and look for the TCP IP4 so here we are going to put an IP address for our laptop so which is 192.168 0.1 we can put any IP address here but the thing is that for both of the laptops the IP the network should be same now we will open local security policy options we can write a command here as ccpol.msc So here we will open network list manager policies and we can double click on identified networks and if we open it here we can see that the connection uh, location type is private right now it is already private so we will press ok and now we will change advanced sharing options and here we will turn on all the network discovery and the file sharing should be all on and we will keep turn off the password protection sharing because if, we, if it is turned on it will if the password protection is on if we try to access the files from the other laptop it will ask for the network username and the password so to avoid this problem we will keep this password protection off Now we will go and select a folder which we want to share. Let's suppose if we want to share our C drive. So we will go to its properties. And go to the sharing tab. And as you can see that the right now it is not shared. So we will open its advanced sharing option and click on share this folder. And for, for the permission, we will grant everyone to access this drive and we will enable full control. Just now, we just need to press OK. Now this folder is shared. As you can see that there is a small icon appeared on the left side. Now we have to do some settings in security tab also. It can create problems while sharing the data. So to do this, we will open our security settings and we will edit the permissions we'll just click on the edit and we can add more user here we will click on add and we will open its advanced settings and find now and here from here we will look for everyone so now everyone who is on the connected to our network can access this drive and we will allow full control and press OK. Now our C drive is shared on our network and now we will go towards the other laptop. This laptop is having Windows 7 in it. So we will see how we can do all these things in Windows 7. 
So first of all, we will open its local area connection and we will go to its properties and open TCIP4. And here we will put our IP address. So this IP address should be matching our network. So the first laptop was having IP address 0 0.1. So this one should be 0 0.2, not identical. Otherwise it will not work. Just press OK, close this tab. And now just to double check it, we will open our network settings and here you can see that this right now it is showing that this network is work network, which is OK. Anyway, we can check this one also. We will write here seekpole.msc and open it. And we will open network list manager policies and we will go towards uh, unidentified networks and here it should be private, not public. Okay. So it always should be private. Okay. Now we will close this tab and We will go to the network and sharing center and here we will go and change that one settings okay so here we have to turn on all the file sharing options except our password protection option so the password protection should be otherwise it will always ask for the network username and the password okay so better to turn it off So right now settings in both of the laptops is done and we will go and open our network tab here or network folder and you can see that this desktop is our second laptop and here it is showing all the shared folders we can see here C drive also all the data in the C drive is also here we can use this data and modify it This is how we can connect two laptops together to share data between these two. I hope you liked today's video. Please share, like and comment and till next video take care and goodbye.